Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Halloween haul from TK Maxx slash HomeSense. So if you like these types of Halloween hauls, please do subscribe. I do have two others also from HomeSense or TK Maxx that I will link in the eye as I do have a playlist now. As I mentioned in my last HomeSense Halloween haul, they are kind of lacking right now, but that is because they've kind of had their six weeks of Halloween stuff. So they did start earlier than I thought they would and they started at the end of July. I went in at the beginning of August and they had loads and loads of stuff out, but I thought that was kind of the beginning of it because I've still been able to find stuff Stuff on like the 10th of October not like a lot but like the odd few couple of things that I've been in but it definitely seems that there's not really a lot going on at HomeSense anymore when I went back to actually pick up an order they only had one new product that I saw um, and that's the one that I did get <laughs> so I don't think there will be many more home sense hauls just as like a warning but i definitely have other halloween hauls i've ordered a builder bear because i am a child <laughs> and i also have a lush bath bomb and also something new that i will be doing i'm thinking of maybe filming it today it depends on my lighting but i'm thinking of like a shop with me video but kind of online because i don't really like videoing in public some shops have an issue with it anyway other customers look at you as if you're like a complete weirdo so i think maybe doing like that style of video but looking online so I'll have the camera on my laptop scream and scream <laughs> I've got too much Halloween in my mind right now <laughs> so I will put the camera on my laptop screen and kind of go through all the Halloween releases for different shops maybe do like a bigger shop thing like going through maybe the TK Maxx website if they still have stuff ASOS that kind of thing and also a small business one too so I am definitely planning that video I did have a look in the shops today as well so I can tell you like what's in store and online so hopefully that will be helpful as well anyway I'll get on to the video that was like the longest intro ever I will start with the item that I picked up in store so I kind of thought that there wasn't going to be much in but I thought I'd have a look anyway so I went to the Halloween stand and there was like the you know same old skulls and some of the items that I just wasn't interested in and then I saw this now this is quite heavy so I am a bit afraid that I'll break it and obviously you saw this in the thumbnail but this is like a full-on Audrey 2 kind of replica I think Audrey 2 has different colorings but this is just amazing <laughs> And as soon as I saw it, I just thought of oh, The Little Shop of Horrors. And this is definitely the most Audrey 2 like one I've seen in TK Maxx. So you'll remember last year, if you've been subscribed to me for a year or longer, that in my first Halloween haul of 2019, I did pick up this one. And I thought this looked like Audrey. And it's kind of inspired, but it's kind of the smaller version, I guess. Um, and this one did cost £12.99 at the time. So when I saw this, I 100% thought it was going to be 20 like 25 And honestly, I'd say that's justified because this is huge. I'd say this is about 40 centimetres, but it's also very, very heavy. Um, and it's not just heavy in the base, it's also heavy like up here because like I put it on my floor and he did fall backwards. So definitely a heavy piece but when I turned this around it said $7.99 and I was like are you kidding <laughs> I'm sure sometimes they put the wrong stickers on things I mean this is 100% worth more than $7.99 so I definitely had to pick this up now I wasn't 100% sure whether I was going to because I do have quite a lot of plants on my windowsill like real plants as well as the ones that I bought last year but I did manage to make some space as I always do um so I do have room for this very cool Audrey 2 plant so the features of it are quite like simple it starts with this kind of terracotta color plant pot with the cracks in it which is kind of cool so it looks like he's breaking out of the plant and then all his kind of roots are also sat on top of the plant just like the Audrey 2 in Little Shop of Horrors there's some kind of fake moss stuff and then you go on to his stem 
I don't know, <laughs> his body, I guess, um, with all these kind of spikes. And then the main part of him is obviously his head. So he is kind of like a Venus fly trap, I believe. So with all of these like leaves coming off and then this is the main details on his head so he does have all these kind of spikes and all these teeth and the part that i really loved was this really long swirly tongue i just thought it was so cool so that is what that looks like i also think it looks like he's singing as well which just <laughs> sold it to me so i was really really happy with this in terms of paint i'd say that this one is painted quite well there are the odd spots that it's kind of chipped like I think if you can see inside the mouth there there's like this spot of white yes yeah, so you can see there's like white there so I'd say the painting is really good there are just like the odd spot of like paint in like random places but the other one that was also there had quite a few chips on these kind of root parts so I did pick up this one um but yeah, overall, I'm really, really pleased. I was literally standing there for 10 minutes working out whether I could fit it on my windowsill. <laughs> but I did pick it up in the end because I thought if I don't and I thought that I really wanted it, if I went back, say, Monday, then it was probably going to be gone. And the sticker of it is underneath, which I will show you. So you can see I'm not lying. It was actually £7.99. And yeah, I was just really, really surprised. This is literally huge. It's really heavy. The quality is really nice. And I'm just so glad I picked this up. So this is my <laughs> Audrey 2 plant. So that's the first item in this haul. And the other three are all plates. So you remember in my last Home Sense video, if you've seen it, that I was after the apothecary plates and I put a post up on the Halloween Watch UK group and someone commented on that post that I was like looking out for them that on that morning they had actually gone up on the TK Maxx website and at that time I was literally just about to get in the shower and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> so I quickly went on the TK Maxx website and I couldn't find them under Halloween, which was a bit strange, but then I typed in the brand and then they came up on the search, which again is a bit strange why they didn't come up on the Halloween page, but I did manage to find them. Um, so I bought two of the different versions and also another one. And actually when like I'd had my shower and everything and I was in my room, I did have a look and they had sold out. So I was really glad I got them when I did. So the main one I was after was this one and I just think this is gorgeous. <laughs> this is definitely the kind of Halloween stuff I look for. I tend to go for like, like as I said this year, I'm trying to go for the ghost pieces and the vampire things, but I always find myself <laughs> drawn <laughs> towards this kind of style. So you'll remember in my Halloween haul that I did from America, I got this huge canvas that's literally sat right there and it says celebrate Halloween. It's the most spectacular time of the year. And it's that kind of like cream aged background with black skulls and very detailed um, like webs, kind of floral, that kind of thing. And I also picked up many years ago that style in those like box signs they do i mean i keep up all my things all year round anyway but that is definitely like gothic decor all year round it's not like bright orange halloween in your face so this is definitely the style i probably like the most i do like my ghosts still but i definitely love this style so just quickly about the click and collect i did get it delivered to my store i have heard people getting them home delivered and they have arrived smashed so i thought i'll do it to my store as i was going in anyway um and they have all arrived perfectly like none of them are smashed or chipped or anything they were packaged really 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 well they had thickish cardboard paper at the bottom and top they were wrapped in that kind of textured paper that's a bit thicker with tissue paper like they were packaged really really well so i was really impressed with that but i'll get on to the plate now so this is by the brand royal wessex i think made in england so this is the plate this is definitely a dinner plate 
So I will go through all the details, but as you can see, it's a very, very busy piece. So it has all these apothecary bottles, which is kind of the main theme of it. Um, it's got things like spiders, dried and pickled. <laughs> Uh, witch's brew, bat wings, snake venom and just kind of all these really unique bottles along the top again in that kind of fine liner print style with these cobwebs and then further down there is the main jar and it says apothecary witch's brew and then it also has toadstool powder, uh, belladonna, wolfsbane, again bat wings, black cats and then it does also have two rats. I'm not sure if that's a leech. <laughs> I'm not sure. So here are the two rats. And then it also has this. And that's definitely like not their tail. So that could be a leech. But then all across the back it's got this kind of brick design with these cobwebs all over it. And I just think this is such a cool design. This was the item I really, really wanted as well as the skeleton plates I found. So I am so pleased i managed to find this so yeah and it also has this really nice scalloped effect all around the outside which hopefully you can see i was planning to use this as a plate but i think this is so pretty i don't know maybe i'll put it up in my future home <laughs> but i just think this is a stunning design and definitely one of my favorites i really liked the bottles but also the rats kind of gave me like plague doctor vibes which again sold it to me even more so really really like this plate the design of it i just i just think it's gorgeous <laughs> so i did get this one so this one was three pounds 99 which is super cheap for a proper like is it ceramic plate of this size and the design um and then whilst i was on the site i also saw they did a smaller one so this is a side plate and this one was £2.99 so I thought I'd get this one too. Now this is exactly the same design but it's just kind of a bit smaller. The main one I was after was this one because I liked all the bottles along the top. So this is literally like this taken out of it if that makes sense. So I won't go through all the main details again but this is again a super nice quality. It's got that nice scalloped outline. And then it's got all these bottles and again the rats. Same brand. So again, really, really pleased with this one. And then the last one I was a bit like, hmm, about. Because I really like it, but it is kind of wedding-y. <laughs> so I did find this one. And again, it's very much what I like. Like the old text. Like the floral background with the skeletons. I just think it's really, really pretty. It does say till death do us part which you know is kind of cute <laughs> but again it does give off wedding vibes especially as the skeletons are in clothes that you would get married in <laughs> but I do have skeletons that are again in wedding outfits in a snow globe um, and I just really liked the look of it so I did pick this one up and I am really glad I did as again it's definitely my kind of aesthetic when it comes to home decor and stuff so this one is a side plate so this did cost £2.99 and it is the same brand as the other ones so this has this really pretty ornate floral border all the way around it so you can see there's these kind of swirly ornate pieces and then all these flowers kind of in with it which is really pretty and then the main background is text then it says till death do us part and then it's got these really cute skeletons so this was the last item again this one cost £2.99 so for those three plates it cost £9.97 delivery to my store was £1.99 so for those three plates it came to £11.96 which I was super happy to pay honestly I would have paid £12 for this alone that's how much I loved this one I couldn't believe the price now if you are after these it's worth searching the brand because I have some other ones that are kind of similar design and they've got kind of a faded print background with a skull on and they are by different brand I'm not sure I will put the brand on the screen if I've said it completely wrong but I did actually search that company and they do have a website and they are selling the skeleton plates and they are selling some of the skull pieces so if you are after 
those ones that I showed in my last video or the skull ones you can definitely find those I'm just not sure if you can find these particular ones because I haven't searched this brand yet so that is my third Halloween haul of 2020 for TK Maxx slash HomeSense because mine is kind of a bit of both. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you're still able to find anything. I know a lot of people's TK Maxx is like that's kind of it and I think that's the same for my one as there are only two mini stands left with as I said mainly skull pieces that just aren't my kind of thing but i would definitely be doing some more like small business halloween hauls i do have a littlest spook shop one coming as well like this video if you did enjoy it as i said comment down below if you're still able to find anything are there any new releases in any other stores remember to press the notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload and also as i said at the beginning please do subscribe if you like these types of videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.